We look at the news through a horror lens. We lens news through horror. We horror news. Welcome to the Lost and Own Podcast. My name is Scott. And I'm Jeremiah. And we are back for Thanksgiving month. We do Halloween right. month. Fuck it. Thanksgiving yeah. month. Yeah, we took a week <laughs> off because we got five big episodes out in the month of October. As yep. promised, we got uh, one a week, really kind of a little more than one a week because we released one on Halloween proper itself. So yeah. we got you all uh, as much content as we could, but then we... We decided to have a little bit of a breather in between episodes, and then we're going to dive right back into Thanksgiving month, which really isn't a month any of us give a shit about, except for that we, I mean, for us, we, you and I carry I, I horror right a, through. I cook a meal. Yep. I'm going to go watch it. Uh, I don't even go to see relatives. I just cook a meal for my wife yeah, and I. Yeah, I, I do, I do uh, a small small Thanksgiving with family stuff, but it's usually just, again, it's it's very little, and it's usually just to, uh, an excuse to eat a shitload of food, pass yeah, we out. We just don't want to hang out with movies. our families. Yeah. And, uh... Friendsgivings are just, I don't know, I've done them for years. Kind of think I'm over them. Honestly, just just lay they, back. They just, just, it, just feel, got, it feels like an obligation I don't want to have on a day where I'm already doing stuff. And you, like, listen, like, you've got a, you've got a four-day weekend with work uh, because, uh, like, you, you, Thursday we don't make people come in on Black Friday. Then you've got, th- like, yeah. so why not, why immediately pack, like, a day of it, night of it up into, like, crazy busyness? I get it. Some people no, want to go hang out and they're like, boo-hoo or whatever. TV. Yeah. Like, we're going to decorate the, the Christmas tree after Thanksgiving? Yeah, like, that's like, nice. Yeah, and we already we put it up this past weekend, by the way, because we have a kitten in our house. Yes, and we wanted to uh, acclimate the kitten to the tree by having a bear tree. Bear tree, yeah, and yeah. it's fake, so it can be up for a yeah. year. It won't and die. You, you guys don't do like tinsel; you got to stay. No, no, no. So it's it's it's. Lit. I was gonna say if you did, you you can't. But it's you know, a lit yeah. tree with a star on top, and it's gonna stay that way until after Thanksgiving. So the kitten can walk over and be like, "I'm gonna kill it," and, and then, then we can scold him, and no ornaments are crashing on the ground. Yeah, yeah, right. And then and then hopefully get them used to maybe like get put, like used stuff where it's old, put, put like the cheap old shitty news. ornaments on first, like no like family heirlooms stuff or whatever that bulbs on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. So he can he can break a couple bulbs. Oh yeah, or they're going to they're they're gonna you can go to Walmart. And buy like a bag of bulbs for like a dollar. Oh yeah, just cat toys yeah. essentially. Just to the cat toy shirt. aisle. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the uh, yeah, there's you know there's uh, Thanksgiving. The Eli Roth movies coming out this month. Excited um, and uh, and while not a Thanksgiving movie, I'm uh, equally excited about the Please Don't Destroy uh, movie. The yep. Le- Legend of Foggy mountain or whatever the hell it is Maybe one of my biggest, of, yeah. biggest wants to watch this month besides um, Thanksgiving. Oh, it's, it's uh, it is. I, I think that one because of the. Um, uh, anything else is coming out because like really. Conan O'Brien is is in that as well, which I'm very very excited about. Uh, so I'm I'm definitely excited about that. It seems like straight up our sense of humor. I mean, their sense of humor is anyway. We're both yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, no. Um, and there's a slew of Thanksgiving horror movies that have come out in the past. I think I've seen them all. So there aren't many. So I think I'm skipping doing anything related to it this year. In fact, I jumped really ahead and I've been watching Christmas stuff early. Because why the fuck not? Uh, I watched Ernest Saves Christmas last night for the oh, first time oh, so since like I some, was a child. Oh, dude. Oh, you, oh, you know, I haven't watched that one in a while. Just like th- during the pandemic. I was probably I 11 watched, the last time I saw that movie. It was during the pandemic. It was whenever, the, uh, it may have been Holds last up. year or the year before uh, when uh, Elvira did her appearance on Joe Bob. We, uh, um, no, it was when she came out with her book. Um, my uh, two, two sisters, younger sisters and my younger brother got together to watch... Uh, Elvira's movie, but then we decided it was around Halloween time, and we decided to watch uh, the Ernest Scared Stupid, which I hadn't seen in ages. I haven't seen. And that I haven't thought either. about watching Ernest Saves Christmas. That's a that's a uh, it's yeah. Ernest I mean, Saves Christmas is Ernest like a is legit wholesome. classic Christmas movie. Like and, and it has honestly, a good soundtrack. It has those uh, quaint eighty special effects. I feel like Ernest is a lot, a lot has, green earned screen. His, has earned his place alongside people like uh, like Fred Rogers, like who who is. 
immortalized as just always just being so good and like he he like like he, he came was out just before amazing. He, he came out before uh, me tooing and getting canceled. Thank God, because <laughs> God knows what Ernest yeah, is. Know. Ernest has been in. <laughs> yeah. We oh do God. not know if he could have been me tooed or canceled, oh, but yeah, it's yeah. So oh. far, it's so far along. No one's no one's calling him out. Can you imagine the amount of fucking sniz that Ernest was? His big dumb face was getting into. God, he was old then, like. You're, there would literally have to be like a grandma coming out now being like, I remember back in 1981, he touched me. He kept calling me Vern. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I flick your bean, Vern? <laughs> I kept telling him, not Vern, Vern, and you can't touch my bean. Oh, Vern, anyway. <laughs> That's a weird thing. Uh, but yes, uh, uh, Ernest is a great one. Um, I actually... so That's, that's on a- Disney Plus, by the way. Uh, oh, okay. Weirdly enough, the Ernest movies apparently somehow have a Disney connection. Okay, well, that, that's, cause that's, that's good to know because I know like, a couple um, he's years a, ago... He's a Disney I princess? Either, I believe I had to, I had to rent... <laughs> Ernest scared stupid when I when I got it um, because it was like that might be on uh, Disney Plus stuff. then too because I wouldn't see why Ernest saves Christmas is there and not the rest yeah I feel like that Ernest probably was owned by somebody he was a slave <laughs> yeah oh. that didn't come out right <laughs> um, uh, it came out exactly how I meant it but the um, <laughs> but I'm the, trying to give you cover so, so no I um during uh during Thanksgiving month I do the same as you I start my um I don't not necessarily really all Christmas watching but winter horror movie watching oh, stuff yeah, with yeah. snow. Uh, one I, I'm excited about, and I'm going to wait till closer to Christmas, is that I intentionally didn't watch last year, have almost watched a million times, but I, I, I have not, but it's uh, Violent Night. I never watched it. Oh, it's so good. Because it, it didn't come out to streaming until after Christmas, and I was like, I'm not going to watch it until Christmas, because it's so hard to... There's so few that come out that are really strong that I'm like... And I have plenty of rewatches, but I'm like, I like yeah, at Violent least Night one good new one. Great. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's my big new one. I think Kelly watch. and I are going to rewatch uh, Better Watch Out this year because we haven't seen that in about three years. Really? And I think that might be oh, our man. favorite Christmas horror I, movie. I, I watched. I've, Better I think Watch I, Out I is just I've A++. Only, plus. I think I've only not watched it one year since it came out in 2017. It's, ho- it's Home Alone, but good. Yeah. No, it's, it's, home, <laughs> it's home Alone meets the Babysitter. Like, it's, yeah. it's a weird little, I mean, obviously with it flipped. But yeah, like, Better Watch Out is an A++ top tier horror film for Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And actually, I, I, it's I, hard to beat I, it. I probably would watch uh, the Home Alone Krampus? As well. Uh, Violet Knight. Yeah. Better watch out. Yep. Uh, oh, and actually, for you, those are probably my top three. For you, because we've talked about it now three times on the podcast, the children from two thousand eight, the British movie. You need to watch you that. Should watch out. So that was a solid, a, a good, solid horror. That was just good. Uh, and uh, there's also Red Christmas, which is the, um, the like Black, Australian movie. Black Christmas, both versions. I'm not a big fan well, of them. Well, there's three of them now. Yeah, uh, I'm not a big fan yeah. of any of them. Uh, I like the first one. The first one's good. Oh, the old 70s one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's fine. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, I mean, that's like proto slasher. That's yeah, like that's, that's, good. Pre, that's pre-Halloween slasher. Uh, and but that movie, also made by the same guy who made Christmas Story, which is great. That movie opened with a man in a Santa suit trying to rape a woman in the middle of a road in, in broad daylight. Isn't that like the first scene of that movie? Sure, that's not... Um, or is that the other Christmas one? I think that might be the... Uh, I thought it was um, Black Christmas. It, I, I haven't seen it in so long. Maybe Silent Night, Deadly Night? I, I think Silent Night, Deadly Night. That sounds way more like Silent Night, Deadly Because Black Christmas was very like understated hmm. and and very... like. I, it, it was it was like up there with the, the like level of understated as Halloween, and it was mm. it was not like it was not shock uh, horror. It was not that that kind of like dirty fuck. It. it was like it was it was solid. Yeah, it was uh you know whatever. Oh, but, yeah. Off uh, on off and on topic. Um, I did watch a Thanksgiving ish horror movie uh because of you reminding me of it i watched black friday the other night oh yes yes that's right yeah uh, well actually that's probably more suited to it's the, the day after thanksgiving, this, thanksgiving this black th- friday thanksgiving yeah, yeah it's actually a, one of the very few thanksgiving horror movies yes that's right yep i uh, really enjoyed it bruce yeah, campbell's, bruce campbell's it. the main reason i watched um, it it was Mar- mark steger as the monster that's Bravo. right yep, Bravo. That's absolutely and uh seth, the show. seth green as the bear Oh, that's right. <laughs> As the animatronic I'm, bear. I'm actually gonna. I ended up uh, buying that because it was literally it was ten dollars to buy or five dollars to rent when it first came out, and I was like, my brothers watched it six, seven times since I bought it. Like Jesus it's on nice. my Prime, so like it's, it's on we're, Plex we're both, right we're now. Both, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna check that for one out free. again. Um, so yeah, for those of you out who haven't seen it, there haven't seen it, uh, check it out on Plex. Yeah, for definitely, free. definitely give it a try. It uh, it's a good, it's a rare Thanksgiving. Uh, it almost era. feels like a trauma movie. Yes. Oh but, yes. But not. Yeah. Like, yeah. It has a higher production value and the music in it. Yeah. It has like really real Christmas music not some fake stuff like their friends band did yeah you know what I mean like it had like legit Christmas songs all through it I'm like wow they spent a lot of money on just the music for this film oh yeah and speaking of music I've got to do a rewatch uh, every year now since since I first saw it was Anna and the Apocalypse which is 
a I still uh, haven't seen it. Which is just, I mean, it's it's kind of it's funny because it is it's sort of a parody of like the High School Musical type things because it's High School Musical but with clearly with like zombies and fucking horror but also the songs are really fucking like catchy like okay. high school musical catchy so like cheesy but also like you know but it's it's it fits so well into the thing but i i have i absolutely love that movie but i was also it was like the time it was like it was perfect right around christmas when i first saw it um so it definitely had a lot of that spirit in it uh so that one's another good one also speaking of friends of the show we were talking about steger uh this is breaking news from mr darren ewing and there's not really any news here but i did see that he has uh, been cast in a new horror movie um reteaming with some people that he is uh he, he has been uh wor- has he has worked with before he nice. has he said he, can, he said he cannot give any more detail this was just from not his even pers- a title this was from his personal you and i were you know friends with him on, on the facebook yeah, we're friends with him so uh this was from we his wish personal each other facebook. happy halloween on yeah. halloween yeah well, i still i still uh will will comment on some of the shit and whatnot and obviously keep keep tabs on him but he uh so more to come on that and maybe when it drops we can get him back on the show and give him a little chit chat to see what it's all about or maybe we should get in touch with him and say hey as, as soon as you can give some more details on this if you want to come on now that you're actually allowed to you know, you know, promote shit again. I want to get a guest for the end of the year because this is the first year since the show's been on that we didn't get a Halloween guest. It's true. Yeah, it's true. I didn't yep. try. We could have gotten a previous guest, I guess, back. Yeah, but yeah. We, I, I figured we did three years with Michael Myers in a row, pretty much. Yes. Yeah. That was that, that was amazing. And uh, I guess I guess I'll, I'm going to try for something. Either an old old guest who was on the show before. We'll talk off air. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. or I'll maybe use X and try to get someone new. Yeah, perfect. Fucking hate that I have to use X because that is the best platform for reaching out and talking to people you've never talked to yeah. before in the world. Do, do all you can before who knows anybody fucking uses it anymore. Who knows? X will be uh, gone by New Year's. I what, bet. What, they, what was the last thing I was ta- I, I saw where they were talking about website. because of their uh, their new handle policies, where if your account is inactive for thirty days, they have a right to auction off your handle for fifty thousand dollars plus. Like, oh wow! Yeah. Great. Yeah, it's it's just Elon Musk like new little money making venture like oh if you just happen to not use your account for thirty days it could be considered inactive and then what if no one your... buys it from auction is it does well, it just go then, back then into it, the pool that I can type I'm, in I'm, and change I'm guessing, my name I'm guessing to you it? I'm guessing you keep yours like you it, you you keep it or your account's locked until they actually auction it and then it, you know that's it see but. it should just be like inactive boom back into the pool. So that yeah. way I could type in my name change, Dude. and if I wanted, yeah, like, this is not... if I wanted at lost at home instead of at the lost at home, yes. I could get that douchebag's account because I know Elon would take it from him because he doesn't use it. Yeah, well, Elon uh, doesn't care about you. He wants the money, and he needs to pay back his fucking billion dollars a month or whatever fucking loans, billion dollars a year uh, like interest he's got. Like so. the guy who owns at the Lost at Home on Twitter or on X now, uh, I could just refer to him as that douchebag. Oh, because he, 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 he could be a brain surgeon he, for starving children. And I'm just like, I want the handle. Yeah, yeah. Let's... And he won't give it up. Well, no, well, well, there was one that was uh, was like actually kind of rude about it too, where you were like, "Hey, listen, notice you haven't used this like in like yeah, he, four he years. was rude. He was, and rude. and it was just like you know, it wasn't like fuck you, rude, but it was. Just, I mean, it was just more like I I don't know how you can't see through like, oh, okay, I haven't used this in years, and we can. You, we can switch. You can be at the loss at home. Like, nobody follows you. Yeah. Nobody's paying attention yeah, to you your have, shit. You have five you haven't followers posted, and you don't haven't posted post. in four years. Like, it seems like it's just being mean at this point. Yeah. Or, or you were holding out, hoping we'd offer you some money. But like, oh, yeah, for that fucking, you know, for shit you don't make money on. Or like, you're like, come on. Anyway, at, so at our not. peak, we were able to pay for hosting costs with our advertising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we stopped trying to even advertise. Yeah, and honestly, this this is better anyway. We get to just do whatever we want, and not that we couldn't really then anyway. But like, you don't have to, we don't have to worry about the stresses of you know making. Although I do kind of make, uh, miss making fake ads, and I think one of these days, we one of the things we haven't done in a while is done a big extravaganza episode. I feel like episode four hundred. We could do some. <laughs> we could do some uh, I think we, we said that we, for three fifty and three hundred, and did nothing for yeah, both. Yeah, we we did one, but it was like twenty episodes later for three. It was like yeah. we like. A 308th special uh, or whatever uh, but we uh, we should like get some um, I've got a couple of things brewing for some uh, pre-recorded content nothing too big let's not go too grand but like have a normal show and then just have a couple little uh, bits and pieces in there maybe do one of our uh, instead of an entire episode where we find one from remember like you, you and I've been doing this show for hundreds of years um, yep. And we find always find one from the vault. Maybe instead of finding an entire episode from the vault, we maybe find a couple of segments from the different eras in the vault instead. Uh, so we maybe have an interview we did uh, with Richard Nixon, which remember that one was pretty crazy. And then we, uh, it was like a two minute interview, no big deal, you know. And then we yeah. do like a little thing where we find a, an ad thing that we did from the 1980s. I like you that. You know, a couple minutes here and there, just like, spitballing while you, we're here. Like retrospe- a retrospective. Made. 
Yeah, sausage being made. Yeah, a look back, yeah. And then we can just do our regular show in between and not have to worry so much about the pressure. The thing that usually kills those is we get too grandiose and then we're like, oh my God, we got to find all these old episodes. We have to it's track down all these old licenses. It's a great to actually try to make some content too because I'm kind of yeah. just sitting around. Once it hits warm weather, I'm like, I'm outside, dude. I'm going to be doing yard work and just enjoying the world. No, no that, I, I, I think all the winter, time. winter, it's like, like there is no world outside these walls. Nope. And I, 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 I need snow to... piercer for me once it hits 40 degrees outside. We, yeah, we, 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 yeah, we just need to, we, we need to just Not completely freeze yeah. <laughs> Just, just uncomfortably chilly. <laughs> yeah, it's like Snowpiercer. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I eat bugs now. <laughs> and like another, yeah. another month, the heat's gonna have to come on. I eat bugs now. <laughs> honey, want another plate of bugs? We can't. We gotta walk. We got a fucking freezer. We got a chest freezer. We can't. <laughs> no, we're gonna need those for the after times. Just, the just, summer? just seeing like cranberry logs of like fused bugs, you know. <laughs> Just slice you off a little slice of bug yeah. log. Uh, honey, I'm not going to eat bug log tonight. <laughs> There's a lot of chicken in the fucking basement. We're going to use those pretend for the Pretend it's pate. <laughs> Close your eyes and pretend. Yeah. Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer. <laughs> Stop calling yourself Snowpiercer. <laughs> Phone ring. Snowpiercer. Snowpiercer, friend. <laughs> Go for yeah. Snowpiercer. Yeah. Hey, man, you want to uh, you want to come out? It's fucking 45 degrees out. Yeah, I'm eating bugs. Bye. <laughs> Click. Snowpiercer out. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we got we got some show to bring. Uh, we're just gonna do a couple of we're gonna do a standard show, some web droppings. Yeah, Scott. I got no loss in thoughts. Uh, yeah. I got I, I, I did I did a movie review technically. Okay. Oh, that's Black oh, Friday. Yeah, Black yeah, Friday. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. the Thanksgiving yeah. movie that you know. Uh, yeah. Oh, I did remember there is one other Thanksgiving horror movie I do want to see this month because I have not watched in years. Uh, Adam's Family Values. Oh my god, I I watched that. I've watched it a couple times in the last couple of years. Holds up. It's I've better. Heard it holds it's, up. It's better than it was when I was a kid. Nice. Because like, there's the, the jokes are so fucking good. Oh my god, that that movie, the the, the both the Adam Family movies. Oh, have that's a Thanksgiving movie that I have not seen in years. That's right. Oh yeah, because I, I I I remember that's that's right. I think that's the reason I watched it last time. It's a lot of hidden Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving movies, yeah. like uh, planes, trains, and automobiles. Yeah, it's it's more of like how Thanksgiving horror is hard to find. Yeah, but there are definitely plenty of like, oh, we got to get together with a family romantic comedy. I there's that my uh, mom on the fucking gravy. There's that political one with all the comedians. Uh, Ike Barinholtz in it. What was that one? Came out a few years oh, ago. Oh yeah, yeah. Ma- yeah. Maya Rudolph might be in it. Yeah, that was um. Yeah, I remember that one. It's about uh, like uh, the elections and purges. Yeah, and it kind of like dealt with a bad, bad political world. Yeah, yeah. A bunch of people getting together for yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah, both of us that one. I think we uh, talked about it on the show. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember the name of it, but it's on Hulu, maybe. Yeah, well, uh, Ike Barinholtz. Look at look his movies up. He's got one. Thanksgiving. IMDb is free. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Elon doesn't own that one yet. No, nope. not gonna make you fucking. Pay it up. I mean, unless you want to, uh, unless you want to, like, I, I deleted all the woke movies. I, I think, I think if you're like, you a won't princess. find a single movie with a crippled kid in it, <laughs> <laughs> unless it's played by somebody who's definitely not crippled. All crippled kids played by Joe Rogan. <laughs> Black crippled kids. Oops, especially. all crippled Joe Oops. Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's right, Mac and me with Joe Rogan. Oh man, would I love to see that? I was telling my wife the other day that I. uh I want more of those oops, we fucked up chips and like flavors and ice creams and things in this world. Because I thought that was a novel concept. And we've riffed on it a bunch on the show. Uh, like the uh, the oops all biscuits yeah. episode a while back. But yep. I, I said the other day, I, but I, like, all I, I, I want like a, I want to get like Lay's oops all vinegar where it's just a very wet bag you get. It's like, <laughs> like a water balloon. Like you know, they, There's no potato chip and no salt. It's just white vinegar in a sealed bag it's, that it's, says Lay's. I feel like um, that's definitely... Uh, oops all I, vinegar. I think you follow the, the, the same uh, person on, at least in Instagram anyways, where I follow them is uh, the obvious plant. Um, oh, yeah. 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 No. Where they, 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 they'll they just go and like put like fake labels on things in the yeah. store or they'll put like actual fake products in the store. Yeah. And that sounds like absolutely one they would do. Like yeah. Lay's Oops All Vinegar in just a just bag filled with, bags. <laughs> filled with vinegar. I want to be wet on the outside too. Oops like when you touch it, like it's sealed. Why yeah. is it wet on the outside? And, and somebody like clearly like holding a chip up, but it's just dripping between their fingers on the, on the just like they don't have on the normal thing. Oh man! Oops! All vinegar. This bag is sweating. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's eating through the plastic. Oh, all right. Um, yeah. So we got some. Uh, we got some stories, Scott. You actually uh, built the whole show. I out. did, and um, we can start with one that's actually getting a lot of traction. But we're still going to do it because I mean, it's it's our show. Sure, we yeah. can do whatever the fuck we want. And maybe hey, yeah, maybe this is the only podcast you listen to. 
Maybe in your car, when this podcast ends, you just yeah. drive in silence. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. This is the only one. <laughs> Waiting between one and six weeks for the next one to come yeah. out. Yeah, when, when your Apple <laughs> Podcast app comes out and says, new and noteworthy, you're like, no, thank you. Yeah. More like, I'm like, no old and, and not no. noteworthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like lost at home. <laughs> Oh, yeah, speaking of which, I still haven't put that banner up. You need to remind me to put the banner up on our website. That we're the remember. number whatever oh, yes, like podcast in number Slovakia. Number 16th in Slovakia on June 20th, <laughs> yeah. whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. I need that banner. I did yeah. look at our website, and I looked around where I could put it, and I think I figured out where I want it. Yeah. So it's going to yeah. be below the big header, but yeah. above all the content. I'm oh, going to yeah. make a ribbon yeah. right it's gotta there. It's got to be a call-out. It's got to be a call-out. Sure. I'm going to make it obnoxious. It's going to be like red. Yeah. Like a Blink red banner. <laughs> Maybe. Yellow blinking on Maybe. red, yeah, like 1990s style. No, you've you, you, you put some good time in I that. I can just set make, it up as a patchable box, so it'll be I like... I think you want to so, make it look so classy. Well, I was going to say, as a patchable box, so it's like pictures that rotate, Yeah, but it's just the same lettering rotating really fast, so it looks like it's flashing. Oh, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's a red, white, red, Like white, milliseconds, red, not white. seconds. Yeah, it's yeah. for like 0.1 milliseconds yeah. apart, but it's just <laughs> flipping the images, and that's it. So it looks like it's flickering. Because then well, you don't need to get into any kind of video editing, GIF editing, video plugins. No. You just rotate an ob- uh, a picture fast. Yeah, once, so, it loads, yeah. once it loads into cash, it'll be pretty, pretty quick. It's like I build websites for a living and like shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do all that work or I can just make the picture flip. Yep. <laughs> Install plugin, bing bong boom. All right. So, our first story is the one I said got some traction. This is Robot Kills a Man. And specifically, this is the story about the robot at a factory that thought a man yeah. was a box of powers. South South Korea. You know, that classic, like, this is, like, they, what, are these, what are these, uh, Elon Musk robots? These Tesla robots? I'm gonna keep going on my Elon Musk kick. That guy's a fucking idiot. He's a fucking tool. And, and his fucking robots suck. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, come after me. I'm pretty Elon sure the robots suits. he showed off on stage were just people in suits. Oh, no, actually, so there's a I bunch of I don't think they were robots. So they're, they're, I think it was someone coming out and being like, beep, for, boop, all, beep, r- boop, remember, just moving. Remember how those could, like, barely move? And people were like, yeah. wow, it's amazing. And then you look back. People were like, look back to like, six years ago, like, Boston or Dynamics. Longer. yeah. Six, they, Boston Dynamics was having them do backflips and catch boxes midair. And then they did, like, this crazy. And people were like, oh, but the, all these fucking Tesla bros, all these Elon uh, fucking lovers, worshippers are like, well, look at it. But also, they showed <laughs> that they had these clips on the top of their head because apparently they have to be suspended. So they don't first, fall over, and then they f- let that, let them go for like six steps, and then they stop and like and uh, the the one where it's uh, the robot sorting things, uh, they they prove that it's uh, fucking with because of the absence of shadows that they clearly just three D rendered um, uh. the, the stuff that it was doing. So like, there's all this scammy shit that he's a, a fucking part of. So if you're an Elon lover, uh, wake the fuck up. The guy's a dipshit and probably a pedophile too. Yeah, fuck it. He fucks Probably. kids. Probably. He fucks fuck kids. It. Elon Musk definitely fucks kids. Come at that me, That guy Elon. fucks. Yeah. Kids. kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, let me go back to the top Lost of the story. Lost Podcast. Not, to, not to actually believe that Elon Musk fucks kids. A man working for a robotics company in South Korea died after being crushed by a robot arm that mistook him for a box of vegetables, specifically peppers. <laughs> um, the incident happened at a pepper sorting plant in South uh, Gyeongsang. How much like a province. pepper did this man look, though? In the defense of the robot, it was Halloween. He came in as dressed as a dressed pepper. as a bag of peppers. <laughs> <laughs> a bag, not a box. Uh, the man was inspecting the robot's sensor operations before a test run. So this was not an op- operating facility, by the way. Uh, the robot was supposed to lift boxes of peppers, transfer them onto pallets, and that was it. Uh, the robot malfunctioned and grabbed the man instead, pushing him against the conveyor belt. The man was taken to the hospital, but later succumbed to his injuries. The plant owner called for safe systems to be established. The police are investigating the cause of the accident, whether there was any negligence involved. Um, yeah, there was negligence. The robot I mean, murdered him, and yeah, the robot yeah. needs to be put on trial. I was gonna say yes. I just want to. It's probably an arm, like a you know big base yeah, station they, they, they with think, a big arm. Yes, I think that's exactly what I think. When people think about like robots, an they're like, robot. oh, it's like a robot, like a fucking ter- like T one thousand or whatever that picked yeah. him up. Always like, good yeah, shit like on the broke his back. This is what I do. Two boxes down. of vegetables, <laughs> crack. Yeah, <laughs> just like shooting it. This is what I do to vegetables. Yeah, bring, bring him to court. Bring the robot. He's like, here's a box of vegetables. Show us what you would do with it. It starts, starts choking the box. Yeah. The vegetables like it's a neck. <laughs> See, this is my programming. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Subdue human. Subdue human. I mean, er, um, er, um, pepper. Pepper. Yeah, this, this is a this is a big old arm. Uh, I guess the biggest issue with this would be whoever programmed it to see. 
yes. got it wrong in what it sees. It should very clearly know what a moving person would, is would, and be like, that's not a thing you grab. I would, I would say, like, stationary box versus flailing human should yeah. be very, should yeah. be at least the first thing you try moving. to get right. How about this? Moving. Yeah. Like if it's, like if it's a, not a, a boolean, if, a boolean value is moving. Click. No. Yeah. Okay. And if it if it is moving and it is a cube, grab. Yeah. If it is not moving, do not grab. If it is not a cube, do not grab. I, I do feel like that like like basic visual moving AI nowadays. Cube. Like with with basic like easy easy stuff like like popping like into you know chat gpt how we could do visual stuff now i'm pretty sure if you just pop in a, a human and a cube and say which one of these is the human it'd probably get it right so i'm guessing yes i think there is some negligence I'll, on the programming part yes. of this and i think the robot should be put on trial and, and probably put to death i want the i want the arm on in on the stand i want yeah. just i want just the, the arm yeah. coming out so it's like that big cylinder and then another not cylinder into anything, and then, then like just, a little flipper you know it's not plugged into anything just death Answer me, damn it! I will hold you in contempt! No, All right? No. 40 days in jail! Oh, you don't like that, mister? How about 50 days? And then just cut to the fucking. You know, have it turned on, and it just left. like, it just has yeah. like a little flipper and hand, and it like nods and shakes its head, like yeah. back and forth and up and down. And like, it was just like, did dude, you kill like, that man? Uh uh. You know? Yeah. Are you lying on the stand? Uh-uh. Oh, no, <laughs> no it, well, it, it technically killed a vegetable, according to what like, what it thought. And yeah. it's Did you to... kill a vegetable? Uh-huh. Also, what are you Would doing? Would you kill a vegetable again? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Am I a vegetable? Uh-huh. <laughs> and then it lunges. <laughs> <laughs> also, what are you doing to those vegetables? Are we supposed to be packing them into boxes? I don't yeah, know. Why are you killing them? <laughs> <laughs> it seems like that's a lot of, like, if you're killing a human, it, crushing a human, it seems like, what are you doing to tomatoes? Jesus Christ. All right, well... But then uh, this is our latest uh, it, it realm into robots are going to kill us all. Because this is not the first time a robot has killed someone. We actually covered the last one, which I think was at an Amazon factory. No, and, and uh, I think it dropped boxes or pallets or, or something or on a human. Or over them or something like that. Something remember, like remember that. The, remember they have like the automated ones that like will drive, like the uh, the forklifts and stuff that will drive. I yeah, they grab like people pallets and they just zip to a new location got, and drop people them. People definitely got injured by those at least. And, uh, and this is before, uh, you know, we... You know, what are we, uh, nine years of Elon Musk promising Tesla self-driving cars in a row? Um, but when those actually come out, we've seen those hilarious videos of them just dr- driving the fuck over like a, like a, a toddler fucking, um, you know. It would uh, be half as bad if they didn't then stop and back up over them again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite sure what programming that is. <laughs> just rev the tire over them. Yeah. I, oops, looks like I hit something. Let yeah. me try that again. And yeah. then it repositions <laughs> to do the drive again. Even better if they didn't use real toddlers. But, you know, yeah. Yeah, you got you to gotta test out, like, real-life examples. And you know what? Elon Musk can afford toddlers. He's got, like, 16 of them himself that he doesn't give a shit about. Just put the trans one out there with a the fucking gay one or whatever. <laughs> the one that he fucking hates. Yeah. Ampersand hashtag. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. he's Elon's cool. After me, bitch. He... All right. He also fucks kids. He also fucks kids, yeah. That's what he does with that. I think that's, that's the title of the home. episode. Let's see if we can get sued this week. Let's see. Yeah, let's title see. of the episode this week. Elon Musk definitely fucks kids. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely fucking the reason he has a stable oh, full of toddlers it, he can just toss out there like you've seen too much we, and he just tosses them out there to get hit by a Tesla we, whoops a daisy the title of the episode Elon Musk definitely fucks kids asterisk but we never do another end of the asterisk <laughs> yeah. and then if anyone ever if he's like our lawyers are going to talk to you be like oh, oh we put an asterisk yeah yeah and they're like well where's the fine print what fine print we put an asterisk yeah, are you fine. fucking stupid and hang up on their if lawyer asterisk means we were we we uh we covered our asses yeah yeah we covered our asses we put an asterisk next to it bye click elon musk fucks kids in parentheses this is parody yeah. if you just put this oh, as I parody love, i would love to actually get in trouble with this have to go to court be on national television uh your honor we put an asterisk yeah i'll be like representing you do know how those work don't you they go to the fine print no one has ever read that fine print. no one yeah yeah no one no we know it's going to fine print we skip the middleman you just know that asterisk means something yeah you and know you can, you can imply something. what people are gonna really come on a bad faith argument here all right i like that i yeah. think anytime you put an asterisk after anything now it's fair game with no further context and no other end of the asterisk where it does the fine print. So the it's just yeah, it's this fair game. Is Elon Musk fucks kids. Asterisk. <laughs> asterisk. We yeah. write out the word asterisk too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we put an asterisk. No, it looked like he was fucking a kid named Asterix. <laughs> <laughs> and that sounds like one of his kids, like what he named them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it could be. 
that that French uh, there was you that find French, out he actually yeah. has a hidden kid named Asterix like from the old comic book. Yeah, it was the old, that old the old, comic? The old French. Uh, it was like uh, sort of like Tintin went up. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think it was. Uh, I think it was one of those old think, racist comics. I don't think it was racist. I think it was... Uh, Tintin it was, was super racist. Uh, well, yeah, but I think Asterix was uh, was more like... Oh, Asterix was the, the Norse people. Yes. Yeah. I watched yeah. the live-action Asterix earlier this year. There was a live-action one? Yeah, it was actually pretty fun. It's oh. a foreign language film. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because I don't think it was big enough in, in the United States. Oh, no, no, no. It's big enough in Europe. It's a European film. I forgot what language it was in, but uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah, Gaulish warriors who wear blackface. Oh, oh yep, it is racist. No, um, uh, yeah, no, yeah, it was a big fat, big fat fucker. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, okay, I guess... I don't remember Tintin being racist, but I also, uh... Um, oh, the comics, they depicted black people with the big-ass lips. Oh, yeah, 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 like the, the, um... The uh, ma- mama, uh, Aunt Jemima kind of character. No, remember, like, there, there's, uh, the ga- ga- oh, Gollywogs. Gollywogs. Gollywogs, right? Yeah, yeah Gollywogs? Tintin was always being hunted by Gollywogs. Yeah, yeah, Which yeah. sounds so much cooler and less racist. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> Until you know what a Gollywog is. Exactly. Then you actually you look at a Tintin comic. Oh, and, uh, yeah. uh, Arab people were also done similarly racist, and so are Asians. Yeah, this was, like... Was, he was a globetrotter. He was, like, Indiana Jones before Indiana Jones. Yeah. And he was, it was, he was, it was Indiana, Indiana Jones, but all the drawings were very. And Tintin was of probably the time. Uh, that was a that was a French guy too, right? Yeah, uh, but when everyone looks Parish. like a Fu Manchu, and the, the the Arabs are, you know, yeah, yeah, French, yeah, French, you know. So this was this was, was like a this was like French time. colonialism guy. This was a guy that was born in 1907. So this is. This is a guy uh, he, who knew his racism. Yo, oh yeah, he was. <laughs> he knew <laughs> his racism. Yeah. But uh, that being said, fucking, I, I will still read Tintin till the day I die. Uh, Clearly, haven't read it in a while though, because I don't remember the gollywogs or gallywags or poly things or whatever they I'm are. I'm for my mic. If you can hear me, gollywogs. I love that word. Uh, yes. uh, I still want. I still want. I still want oh the, the horror movie the horror movie the Jordan by Peele. Jordan Peele the Jordan Peele Golly the Golly Wong. Wong. yes which actually uh so you have you you haven't seen um he's making uh, it this fall yeah <laughs> I'm like, dude we get a cut of that well, well I no. would have to bring up a podcast and actually be like to his lawyers I would get yeah. oh yeah I would call up people I'd be like dude we got a timestamp of two years ago this movie yeah. started production one year ago and we even said we Jordan even Peele said Jordan too. Peele yeah come but, on. Like, Oh, well, what's that? None of that will hold up in court because it's just an idea? Okay, sure. Uh, well, but, we copyright everything we say. That's how it works, right? Sure, fuck it. Yeah, that's how they... That's the, the, I'm sure that Jordan Peele can't get better lawyers than we can. Fuck, maybe when I go home, I'm going to write the entire plot of the movie on a napkin, put it in an envelope, and mail it to myself so I get one of those post stamp let's, copyrights. Let's do Let's do that uh, with <laughs> a lot of them because he's probably going to come up with a way better one than we are, so we got to get the right one so we can then say, like, oh, it's in here somewhere. But also, uh, you, you haven't got seen... a lot of napkins in this one envelope. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't seen uh, the blackening yet because that has a that, it's in my queue. That has a uh, has a gollywog in it. It just doesn't. It's not about a gollywog, but there is a gollywog uh, like as part of the, the game that they play. Um, and they're like, oh, what the fuck? Because that was clearly, when we talked about it length during Halloween, right? Yes. The one you said was great, and then you wanted to write a different version of it, kind of. Uh, well, now that I didn't, I, I wanted to write a different version. I had a dream before I had seen it about there we go. a really cool idea but that, that was, I want to write. That was but the yes. one you were talking about. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. And so it was in my queue, and, it, and I was that's like, actually what drove me to actually be like, I do have to see this movie to see, like, because I, I, but I, I also wanted to see it. Uh, like I said, it's it's in the realm of like, say, yeah, like bodies, bodies, bodies. But like, I would not quite as funny as that one, but it's, uh, you know, it's got some the blackening, yeah. the blackening. Yeah. Wasn't there another one called Meet the Blacks? Yes, there's there are two of those. Yeah, that's good too. Uh, I have not seen either of those. I want to see those. They're supposed to be like you haven't dark, seen the blackening. They're, they're dark. Uh, I've seen the blackening. Oh. I haven't seen either of the Meet the Blacks. Oh, there's two. Meet the Blacks too. Yeah. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Don't worry. I don't think it's spelled T O O. I think it's just a number two. I think it's a real one. Uh, but the uh, but yeah, those are like dark comedies. The, I think. From what those are, yeah, and I actually, I, I, those have been on my list for a while. I just haven't gotten around to watching them because I don't like calling them dark movies. comedies with a full black cast seems problematic for, oh, a white, I mean. for a white guy at a podcast. Oh, they're just comedies. They're just dark because <laughs> they have dark people in them. Yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there, there's nothing. There's nothing horrific about them whatsoever. Yeah, it's just a dark comedy. All right. Speaking of dark things, we are moving on to the subject of gimp rights. Okay. Um, a man named Joshua Hunt called Jay been- Hunt. Jay Hunt has been banned from wearing a mask and black suit in public at night and from crawling on the ground after police linked him to 25 incidents committed by the so-called Somerset Gimp. So I had the Somerset Gimp um, in the last episode of October that I ended up 
uh, putting a pin in because at some point I wanted to get really deep in the weeds with this one. So this is a good little uh, precursor okay. to that because because okay. I, I do want to get into the the history of the Somerset Gimp and also why a lot of people are saying that they've got the wrong guy here. This guy even says it's not him. Yeah, they, they, and it, it sounds like there's a lot of it sounds like this might be them just wanting to get fucking done with the Somerset Gimp stuff and just pinning it on somebody because it seems I was like there's a lot of a lot of stuff that he's saying is like is legit and it seems like he's like listen. I, I'm already in trouble for it. I tell you, if I am, but like I'm, I'm not. I just, I'm a guy who dresses up as a gimp. Also, I feel like it might be unconstitutional to tell somebody they can't dress up a certain way after like a certain hour or something like that. I feel like there's something anti-constitutional about that. It feels weird. Yeah, it feels because, weird. Yeah, it's like oh, oh, you. It makes you feel uncomfortable, so you can't do it. Like, now, there are some things you're going to get into that definitely I seem like he made I, things uncomfortable. I sometimes think we have too many freedoms. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. You're getting more right wing by the day. <laughs> I mean, I think like Europe, we should ban the Nazi flag and Nazi paraphernalia. No, not Why? Europe ban that. Yeah. And the U.S. is like, no, it's what against it my freedom of speech. They, they're, they're 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 more far right government than we are. What the fucking what has it done? Oh. Nothing. It's so. just I like it, that though. I it like just that. drives it underground. Whatever. It yeah, matter. you know that's where I liked it. I, I liked yeah. the Nazi you, flags you when you only about, saw them in, yeah. in historical movies. Yeah. Now you see them on pickup trucks. Yeah, but you know what? I'd like to know who the fuck those people are. Yeah. Let them brand I guess I themselves. Just don't like seeing hate symbols brand, gen, in general. Yeah, you don't like it. It doesn't matter. Like it's actually you're, probably you're it's actually, Jeremiah uh, loves seeing hate no, symbols. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's I think I think it's more important to actually be able to like, brand the people who are like you know brand them. Yeah, good. Uh, but yeah, like the 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 people who hate, you know, let them fucking wear their stupid fucking shirts and stuff. Let us know who they are so we know to keep the fuck away from them and whatever. Yeah, sure. Because they're otherwise they're they're still gonna be able to hang out and do all that shit. And, you know, they're still going to have, they're just going to have it down, hanging down in their basement. And we're not going to be able to go like, oh, that guy's a Nazi because he fucking wears that thing. I don't care, like, if I'm uncomfortable by it, if they're doing it, I'm like, hey, good. Good for you. All right? Let me know that you're a fucking piece of shit and to keep my kids away from you. I don't have any kids. Yeah, I just think there's something about being, some, allowing outward displays is emboldening and also is, uh, makes it, uh... Normalized so that other people might join up and be like, "Oh, maybe I want to be a Nazi." Whereas before, they'd be like, yeah, "Is that really I'm how not, it works?" I'm not going to be a Nazi. I, I don't. I don't think that's how it works. I, I, think, think, I'm gonna be, I think somebody I think walks I'm gonna be by a house with a Nazi flag goes, "I'm going to be a Nazi." They were pretty much there. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way it looks, the face way. I didn't think the, the living room would work until I saw the Nazi hanging out. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like there's got to be something in the middle because I also feel like yeah. Uh, being able to outwardly like embolden, but I also feel like people rebelling it, against it. The people who think that they shouldn't face any consequence in the public space because of it, people have every right to go to your fucking place and like fucking pick it outside your house. Oh, yeah. and if treat you, you like if a you, piece, you, and guess you what? Hang treat Nazi. you like a piece of shit and not and spit yeah. in your fucking food and not fucking sell you shit because that's the freedom yeah. you want. This freedom, we have the freedom to be like yeah, fucking you have a you're Nazi a piece flag of shit. outside of your house. I get to throw a Molotov cocktail at your house legally. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I think I'm legally fine. I should be able to throw one. And if it's a dud, well, that was your one. Yeah, yeah you should have You should have Googled it better. Yeah. You should have gotten that anarchist you get cookbook. One. Doesn't burn down the whole house just like burns the patio. Uh, that was your one. Uh, you not get... my Nazi patio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where me and fake Hitler fucking hang out. You know they love their patios. They love their symmetry. Yeah. <laughs> me, and me, me, and my, me and my little girl have our Hitler tea parties over there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's right. She's uh oh shit I forgot all the fucking I said Hermes it's not his name <laughs> Himmler Ava, Ava that's Braun? my Himmler yeah Ava Braun that, yeah that's my little Ava Braun that's my little Ava yeah my my wife's Ava Ava yeah yeah and then we kill each, kill ourselves on the fucking porch great good for you one lump of sugar or two two one cyanide capsule or two <laughs> two, two. <laughs> oh good very safe. All right, so this uh, guy, Shut Hunt, up. also has been given a sexual risk order for five years and has to register as a sex offender for the same period of time. Uh, police did argue that there was a sexual motivation to his acts, yeah, which yeah. caused harassment, alarm, and distress to his victim. It, it, is, it is hard to argue against that when you hear some of the stuff, like... Like it, it's it's it almost sounds yeah. like he's being creepy, not sexual though. Uh, a gimp suit is an entirely black, full covered yes. body suit with a lot of zippers and shit. Yeah, and as, and gimp, as, long as, as a all gimp, you're subservient if usually. His chunk is all up in there, and he's not flashing. And then he just sees someone, and he collapses on the ground and rides around. Feels like he's doing a horror American horror story kind of thing. Yeah, like I feel like it's more horror than horror. Yeah. 
because yeah. I don't see a sexual aspect to this. Unless no. he walks up to a girl and just well, and, lifts her up by her cooch. And I do feel like it's going to be like hard that for scene them in Always to, Sunny. Yeah, yeah, oh, God, yeah. Or Mac picks up yes. D by her cunt. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. She's like, that was fucking awesome. She's like, that was so cool. Oh, my God. Yeah. Did it hurt a little? Forever, I'm just more shocked you were able to do it. <laughs> the, uh, but this, this is it also, I just feel like it's it's tough to it's tough to argue motivation like that. Like, oh, how can you get inside somebody's head? Obviously, all you have to do is uh, convince the judge or if there's a jury. It sounds like it's probably more like in front of a judge. Also, this feels like right. it is a big infringement on his freedoms, period, because he's now prohibited from wearing or possessing any type of mask or face covering, wearing or possessing black in all, all in one what about garment, another pandemic? or clothing that looks like it. And he's also prohibited from crawling, wriggling, or writhing on the ground <laughs> in any public space while wearing any piece of clothing that matches the descriptions of the pre-mentioned clothing. He can't just do what he did before, but like, well, he's just gonna like, wear like a clown suit and start break dancing. He's like, ah, I'll do pull. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead, define writhing, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm break dancing. Well, you're bad. You're bad at it. Yeah, it's kind of just, just writhing. writhing. It's become more like a gyration, if you will. But and the uh, clown suit is entirely jet black. <laughs> yeah, that's a zipper mouth. <laughs> zipper mouth. <laughs> zipper nose. <laughs> <laughs> zipper comes nose. Out through the, comes out through oh the zipper God. hole. Okay, no, actually, the name of this episode is Clown Gimp. <laughs> so, clown Gimp. Okay, that works. Uh, okay. Um, so, clown Gimp. Or Elon Musk. Se- semi colon. Elon, Elon Musk fucks children. <laughs> No matter what the title is, colon. <laughs> I like that. I, I like that. Um, but the, okay, yeah, so I, I agree there. I, I also feel like they're talking about face coverings and stuff. What if this was just like, I actually, now I'm now picturing going around with like a, a during COVID with a gimp mask because it's the only mask you have. You're like, <laughs> like, because it's just like, hey, I'm just fucking being yeah, safe. But like, what if we have another pandemic? Like how I'm dressed, yeah, but just but the just mask. the gimp mask, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Um, but the, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a K95, oh, I remember, I remember K95 when, M95, whatever. Uh, I remember fucking. when COVID was in full swing and people were, people made weird contraptions to put over their heads. Yeah, yeah. I saw some weird shit at Walmart. I think people were just getting their kinks out. I was just like, I remember someone had like, like a plastic tub like cut and it was like cut so they went on their shoulders. Oh, yeah. And they were just breathing inside like this weird plastic. It was like just half some, a, like a water tank kind people of People were trying to figure out, tank. like, this probably works. Yeah, the DIY stuff. Somebody had one yeah. of them, them uh, Nicolas Cage wicker man contraptions with bees filled in it. <laughs> just like, <laughs> the, bees the, bees. Eat the, the bees eat the COVID. Oh, the bees, not the bees. The bees eat the COVID and I eat the bees. <laughs> I don't get the COVID, so bees cure for COVID. Yeah, <laughs> I, I pass logic. That's right. Did you say eye patch logic? Eye patch logic. <laughs> well, actually, I like eye patch logic. All right. Um, yeah. All right. I did skip one story, and I, we have time for one more, probably. So sure. I'm going to go back to the story I skipped. Uh, guns for teeth. I like the sound of this. One of the reasons I put this story in is because it deals with the Invisalign company, and uh, my wife is currently doing that program. Mm-hmm. Uh, she got a deep discount with her insurance from her last yeah, I job. Know, I know so, a lot of people who have done boom, Invisalign. A lot of people. It's expensive as fuck, but uh, State, huge, of Vermont, I, but State of Vermont gave it to her got, for like 80% off. That's gotta be a fucking billion dollar company, of Invisalign. Man, they make a lot of money. It's better than braces. Oh, I know. Exactly. No, it's it's amazing. It's, uh, yeah. But, uh, so... This is about a North Carolina orthodontist who offers Invisalign as one of his treatments, and he decided to, all on his own, offer free Glock 19s or a gun range membership to patients who sign up for Invisalign. And he called this promotion, you ready? Yep. Grins and Glocks. Now, I like it. Okay. This, uh, this promotion has nothing to do with the Invisalign company. They know about it after being told... And yeah, we're like, we did not say this was okay. Some blow shit like them trending on Twitter for the wrong reasons. Oh X, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, they uh, they uh, actually, you know what? I, I correct myself and say X a lot recently, and I, I, I still I, say I realized Twitter. Elon Musk hates it when we call it Twitter. I just want so I, I think I was I'm intentionally just, just going to call it Twitter till it the, closes. The only, till the, only, the, day it the closes. only time I the only time I don't is when I talk about when people tweet. I call them excretions, and I got that I think off of uh, I think mm. maybe David Pakman who started calling I heard that, that somewhere out. too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, excretions works, but uh, I yeah will, he, I, he so, hates it when you call it Twitter. No, so I'm, I'm like, oh, Twitter. no, it's Twitter. Twitter. It, Twitter will never <laughs> die. Twitter, I mean, it will when he kills it. 
Because he well he killed it already, but he's gonna kill. It's X. almost dead, dude. It's we so keep stupid. saying that, but it's did getting you, close. Did you did you see like what like somebody had like a bunch of tabs open in their browser and they and it was just all XXX and all this kind of stuff and they're like one like uh, only one of these is a social media company, the other one are porn companies and they all look almost identical because uh, because you know most people like the X, X videos yeah X videos blah 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 like they just have the the X like some kind of X version of the Favicon and it was up there in the in the little tab and they're like all but one like. All but one of these is porn. Yeah. And, like, just go ahead and tell me, like, this wasn't a fucking stupid... Like, oh, but he's a genius. He's a fucking moron. That's all Twitter is anyway, is it's 99% porn and right-wing, like, nutbags. Yeah, and if they could just really combine nothing those else two, I there. might be radicalized. I don't think oh, there's man. good right-wing porn. I've never looked for it. No, good porn, like, you've got... It's, very, like, it's all interracial. It has, it's very... Actually, I, I'm, the DEI... It's very woke. Porn is very woke. I would say, yeah. It, because, like, you know, there's... there's it always a lot has of, been. It's been pro-woman. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, except for all the ones where, you know... There's, except you know, where it's not. You know, <laughs> like most of it. <laughs> That's the ones on. where it's not. Yeah, you know, where they're, like... But, but there was, a, you, know, there, you know, a period where, like, a lot more women were getting to, like, say, the directing and producing space and it, i think it has elements of it has has improved now we have to take out the uh the fact that what the porn hub is being sued for like knowingly allowing uh rape content on their website and shit like that uh as part of the a larger lawsuit with i don't other think people. anyone can knowingly yeah. know what content is on their website when they have a billion videos yeah. uploaded well no it was more of like the <laughs> it was more of like the ignore the the warnings and also there was a uh, it actually was less of that it was the uh, it was another company that owned uh, um, a bunch of other like porn industries, and they were actually like they flat out were like working with like their they were like their uh, like hotel workers and shit that knew that people were like trafficking women into this hotel and like and these were like underage girls and stuff. So it's really it's a really fucked up. It actually hasn't gotten much ma- like mainstream uh, media coverage because I think mainstream media just doesn't cover porn stuff a lot. No, no. Um, so there's actually some there's a underage lot of, a lot of girls a lot that of was terming. back in 2010. Yeah. They're all of age now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're just you know we're just gonna we're just See gonna... that girl that porno? Yeah, she's 14. No, she's 24. She's 24. She's right here. She's 24. <laughs> She'd be here if she didn't kill herself when she was 16. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, there, there's some crazy shit going on in the, in the porn world. But, uh, ultimately, we're, we were, uh, yes, right in, in that... Uh, in oh, the yeah. Why that. isn't there right-wing porn? Yes. There probably is. And, I, yes, and is. I think it's probably an easy Google way, but I want to see like the storylines where it's like, hi, honey, did you go out and vote today? I don't know why I should. It's just going to be another fraudulent election. <sighs> honey, you look stressed. Let me suck your dick. Yeah. And that's like the right wing yeah. part. It's and just that, he, that story part at the beginning where it's then, like, yeah. another stolen election. Let me, I'll, I'll steal your cock with my mouth. <laughs> yep, exactly. Let me steal your cum from your just, dick. All it needs is like that preamble where it's like, oh, this is right wing. Yep, yep. Yeah, that, that, that's that's all it really takes. And I'm sure, honestly, I, I feel like uh, porn is a big, uh, it's a big tent. I think they're going to get a lot step, of people in there. Step, bro, I'm stuck in the ballot machine. <laughs> Oh, we were, were trying you to try, were you trying to for yeah. Biden. I guess I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stepmom gets stuck in the ballot machine. Oh my god, that's the best part yet. This, that made this whole episode worth it. Yeah. <laughs> you trying to change the the? Are you trying to swing the election? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't swing oh, yeah. that way. Yeah. Let, yeah. Let me swing my balls against your ass and teach you a lesson. Oh no, I'll never vote for Biden again. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I love it. I love it. So also, a, a, a line technology for Visalign is worth like fourteen billion dollars or something like that. So damn, they're, 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 there's some that oh, say like three billion, billion dollars it. of if, profits, but they're yeah. If they're, you don't have insurance expensive. to bring the cost out, it is almost cost prohibitive for most Americans. It's more. It's more than regular bracelets because it's like yeah, it's prettier. Oh, yeah. yeah. You it's can, prettier, and it's a th- private company. And you can take them the fuck out if you need to talk. Yeah. And you don't sound like a. Th- 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 th. You know, it's yeah. like the sister on South Park. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I had regular braces. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You always sound like the that that sweat mouth with the effing stuff in right, it. Because regular but, braces, you're paying the, you sound like that too. But then you can just click them out and be like, yeah. "Hi, how's it going? I don't, I don't have, I don't have yeah. anything in my you're, mouth." Because you're like reg- regular braces, you're paying an orthodontist to like to occasionally tighten things up and like put the shit on, and it's expensive from the outset. And then every like visit, whatever, and it still costs a lot of money, you know, in the thousands. But you're not also then paying a third party for a profitable industry. Yeah. Like, you're paying just for the profit of the uh, of the orthodontist. But that being said, it also 
you know, it's a fucking brilliant idea. I'm, I'm so, I mean, people are fucking genius. It's forever retainers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a retainer you start with, essentially. Because yeah. unlike braces, it looks and feels just like a retainer yeah. that clicks onto and I think it takes, uh, brackets they put on yeah. your teeth, like, like braces brackets. Yes. But less of them, and they're like... Clickable. Yeah, and you, it's, it's not like you just get a kit at home. Like you still have to go get something. You have to go to the orthodontist. Yeah. Yeah. This all that, that's, what, that's what I was saying. Like you're, you're paying for the orthodontist fee no matter what, and then you're, on top of that, you're then paying Invisalign for the product. So yeah. it costs a lot more. Anyway, yeah, we didn't expect this to get into Invisalign territory, but anyway, well, uh, we did. The stories about Invisalign. Because the guy true. wants yes. to trade, uh, give you a gun if you get Invisalign. Which I think it's the dumbest fucking thing on earth. But uh, the promotion is legal. It requires a background check and age ver- verification from the patients who choose the gun, which makes sense. You're buying a gun. And uh, the gun club owner, who they also offer the free membership through uh, if you didn't want the gun, which is weird. Like, do you want a gun or gun club membership? It's like, I don't have a gun. Like, I'm assuming, like, say you walk in and don't have a gun. What would you use the gun club membership for if you don't have a gun? Yeah, go meet people with guns. That's, yeah. yeah. That's my kink. Only fuck people who own guns. Uh, I got a gun right here. I got actually, a, there's people who fucking say that. I, I actually, I just brought a gun back up from home. It's a, it's oh. a nice little six shooter. It's a, it's a, it's a cute little bass. I've got, I own a gun too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I found it ridiculously easy to buy one. It was like a joke. Yeah, well, mine, mine just came from my family, so I, I, I still haven't <laughs> found this one. in the street. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's America. You kind of like have to rake the guns yeah. in the fall. <laughs> It's a keeper. <laughs> yeah, I found a cool one. Yeah. The rest just go in a trash bag and you put them on the curb for the trash for the yeah, trash yeah. kind of come and, and then like they're cr- like crunching it in the morning. <laughs> yeah, no. They fucking trash like fucking trash compactors are so goddamn loud in the morning. <laughs> yeah, another six kids fucking died from a uh, an apparent like mass shooting from a, a no, crushing yeah. a bunch of guns. Yeah. This is America. That's right. That's, 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 is, that's the Childish Gambino song is playing in this, you yeah, know, cabin. This is He's America. Yeah, and, this, and that's like, actually, honestly, it was the, it was the, the, the best mass shooting of the day. Oh. Mass shooting of the day. We live in America. That's right. We're political. Um, that's all I have for this story, and we're pretty close to the end of the show. I think we're right there. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add before we sign off for this week and join people next week with maybe some news on a maybe maybe we'll have news on an interviewee for the next two months? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll try to get one yeah. before the new year. One. Okay, and, and honestly, uh, I'll like, start brainstorming. And uh, if if you uh, that's you know, my homework. I, th- I think you connect with uh, Darren a little bit more. I, I'm willing to send him something as well. But uh, you should check in with him. See, hey, uh, when, once you get a little uh, uh, more information about that there movie, if you want to, you know, pop on the podcast for maybe. Maybe, or maybe we right. we revisit like a, 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 a we do like a special fucking horror in the court episode, you know? Okay, okay, something like that. We I'll gonna also, make it first quarter next year, something. I'll like look that? around what movies are coming out for horror and see maybe I can find someone adjacent to one of these two. Like maybe the guy who plays the Pilgrim in Pilgrim. Yeah, I like I like going, I like going for. Yeah. The, yeah, and Thanksgiving. Yeah, I like, there is like the Pilgrim, there is a which actually movie called Pilgrim, which was another yeah. Thanksgiving was a Hulu, Hulu original uh, in Into the Dark or whatever they called it. Yeah, yeah, they stopped doing the Into the Dark banner, so now it's just a Hulu original. But. Yeah. I wish they kept up with the Into the Dark. Because they still yeah. put out, like, four horror movies every October. They just no longer have that banner associated yeah, with well, them. Yeah, well, before it was one a month. So it was like they did 12 a year. Yeah, that one was monthly. Yeah, that and they did it for two two seasons, yeah. I think. Yeah, they it's abandoned like that now for just a rich month yeah. of original horror in October, yeah. which is great. Which that's, is cool. That's like, awesome. Yeah. Um, but it'd be good, yeah, if it was yeah. branded content like that. Yeah. But no, uh, I think we're good. I think we're ready to... to to call it and uh, get back to you guys next week with a couple of good fucking stories and maybe some news, maybe some not. And uh, we'll just keep enjoying this uh, extended Halloween month. Um, Get lost. Get lost. (laughs) 